Yeah, so earlier you were just telling me that we're gonna go ride some infrastructure. Not so good. Yes. And what did you say to me? You said it's about, uh, this is kind of what prompted you to start your uh, social media stuff. Yeah, well, I was, I was putting movies on social media on a low profile. And yeah. then I was asked by the, let's, let's say the general manager of the business park on the other side of the canal. Yeah. And I wanted to uh, have more people working there uh, who were living on this side of the canal to go there by bike. But, right. Well, the bridge we are going to see in a moment yeah. uh, has a bike path, but it's yeah. it's narrow. It's uh, uh, on the on one side there's a drop to the canal, on the other side there are trains passing by. Yeah. Uh, so it's not it's not, not ideal. Not yeah. ideal. And yeah. they asked me if I would want to make some movies mm -hmm. they can use to uh, show yeah. what's needed. And speaking of business parks, we're kind of in a little little yeah. uh, industrial area, business park. You met me here at Bike Flip uh -huh. uh, for your first time visiting Bike Flip. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. yeah. And nice I know that you've you. heard of it before. Yeah. Uh, what a wonderful program. Yeah, and it's, really it's good. great yeah. to have programs like this. Uh, before we get rolling, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself to the channel, to the, to the audience? Yeah, okay. Well, I'm uh, Hello Channel. I'm uh, Geert van der Wild. I'm uh, the film and the fietser, a filming cyclist, as uh, you may know me. I'm living in Utrecht uh, with my wife and three children, and I'm doing this uh, cycling influencing thing for like three or four years now. Yeah. Yeah, so. And you do this on the side because you have a real job. Doing I have, other a, I have yeah. a real job. <laughs> yeah, this is just like this some, is for uh, fun. This is for fun. Yeah. 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 And advocacy. You, and you advocacy. Care, you, you yeah. Care. And yes. It, it's getting well, more and more involved in, in, in programs and things, and uh, yeah. we'll talk about that we'll later. We'll talk, talk about that yeah. later. Okay, enough chit chat, let's ride. Yeah, let's ride. All right. Just watch out here because it's, uh, there's no bike infra here. Yeah. As you can see. We are in the land of the car. Yes. <laughs> Although, you know, looking up ahead, we don't have to get very far before we no, see a, we a see little bit of red. Yeah. We see a little bit of red. A little bit of red. So we go left here. Okay, very good. Typical of the, of the Netherlands. We don't have to go very far before no, we see a little bit uh, of red. red somewhere. <laughs> and we go up the ramp. It's a very long ramp. Okay. With a sharp edge. That's one of the problems here. Let's do it. Let's see if you can make it. Okay. If I can make it. Yeah. This is our test. See if we have the fitness and the bike handling skills. I might have to shift into lower gear. All right. There's nobody coming from that side, so yeah. that's... Oh, piece of cake. We got it. We got it. Nice. See, there's a smiley face on that pole right there. That was from somebody who was happy they made the turn. Yeah, happy to survive. Oh, there's a train coming now, I think. Yeah, we hear it. There it is. Ah, uh, yes. So here you can see the problem. It's very narrow. It's very narrow. It's a two-way bike lane. Oh, wow. The trains are like two meters next yeah. to us yeah the canal is 10 meters below us yeah big boats and if there's a train passing us right now it scares yeah. the hell out of you <laughs> uh and this is uh, for pedestrians too yeah it's also for pedestrians yeah but you can imagine yeah. someone with a cargo bike coming from that direction yeah and you're walking here or cycling with a cargo bike it's yeah almost impossible yeah so what would the municipality do in this case? Would they try to upgrade this or would they yeah, build new are, bridges? Well, there are several plans and investigations. What's, what's best to do? Yeah. Uh, put a new bike path uh, to this bridge. Yeah. Uh, build a new bridge, but yeah. on what side? Because you have to take into account the boats and yeah. the, the, the corner of the canal. Yeah. Um, there has to be enough room on both sides for the for the ramp. Yeah. So yeah. they're still yeah. investigating it, and yeah. it's well, 
obviously it's costing a lot of money. Yeah. Somebody has to pay it. Oh, so look at this, look at this. This yeah, looks a like a recent, new, uh, yeah, a recent expansion. Yeah, a red pavement. Yeah. Now, have you, you've, you've obviously profiled this yeah. as a problem, yes. Yeah. So maybe, maybe they uh, added this a uh, little bit because of they saw your video. <laughs> <laughs> well, my video was a couple of years ago. Okay. So I think That's about it's, right. Yeah. It's about how long it takes. <laughs> no, it takes not that long here, usually. <laughs> very good, very good. And here is an, another problem. Yeah. You have a long way down. Yeah. You can gain speed. Yeah. And then there's here a corner. Yeah. And a road where, with all the trucks and, and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so what you're less. so what you're saying to me is that uh, still plenty of work to be done yeah, in Utrecht. There's still plenty yeah. of work to be yeah. done. Yeah, job security for you with your volunteer <laughs> yeah. job. <laughs> and then th this is also not wow. nice. Wow. Yeah. Look at that. It's way too narrow. Yeah. Okay. Well, and it's uh, this is obviously old, so it's not up yeah. to current current standards. You see, it's a. Uh, it's an industrial park yeah. with lots of big trucks and cars. So yeah. back in the days, the need for uh, proper cycling infrastructure just wasn't there, I think. Right, and yeah. now we're seeing that people working here are living just across the bridge or yeah. perhaps five or six k's away. Yeah. They can easily go here by yeah. bike, yeah. but it just, oh, yeah. people don't want to because of, yeah. of the bridge. Yeah. And they can go the other way around. Yeah. But that's uh, a long detour. Okay. And on the um, uh, park itself, there yeah. are some cycling paths. Yeah. Some are separated. Yeah. But they're not all that good. So yeah. there's room so for So what you're telling me is we have to go back over that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or all we right. have to take the detour. Or we have to take the detour. <laughs> all right. I'm following you. you tell Let's do this the right way. Well, it's a Saturday now, so it's 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 calm. Yeah, it's pretty Let's, calm over here right now. On weekdays, it's it's a lot of traffic here. So should I name this this clip? Uh, the film defeats her. The minute defeats her, tries to kill John. <laughs> uh, well, but you should probably don't don't call it that way. Oh, come on. <laughs> You know how. Okay, well. You if, know if, how if, titles go. Uh, you know. If you survive, it's yeah, okay. If yeah, you, yeah, I if survived. You yeah. <laughs> we should have like a, a thumbnail shot of like the horror. Oh my yeah. gosh, will I survive? Yeah, it, it's not that bad, but at the same time, it's not up to standard. No. Yeah. And when I say it's not that bad. I just mean that I've seen worse. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this is okay. Yeah, it's, it, and you can tell how new this is too. Yeah. Look at that. You can see that. This is just a couple of weeks old. Yeah. They got this sort of a Band-Aid put on. There's another big ship coming, double one. Oh yeah, double, 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 double the trouble. Yeah, it would be nice if there was a train coming now, but. Oh yeah, he says with a malicious smile. <laughs> <laughs> that evil grin. So you can see the next bridge over there. Right. So that's a detour if you don't want to use this bridge. Okay. Oh, there's a train coming. Just ah. point your camera to the right. Okay. And enjoy the experience. Yeah. Yeah, not as scary when it's coming towards you, but uh -huh. if you're, it's coming behind you. Yeah. And you don't hear it, like if the wind you is in your ears. It. Yeah. Yeah, I can see how that would uh, frighten somebody. Especially if they have traffic opposing them yeah. come in the opposite direction. That's an awful lot to try to pay attention to. And here's our sharp corner that we successfully navigated. You'll see how 
people have sort of worn a wide path in the dirt off to the side there. So that was a uh, kind of a interesting coincidence, yeah. you know, meeting at Bike Flip. Uh, so that it brought you back to the yeah, origins of the... Yeah, I was thinking, of, uh, well, when we were at Bike Flip, yeah. we just yeah. can go uh, up the bridge. Yeah. Let's see, let's go left here. Okay, heading to the left here. And we can see here that this is one of those automobile-centric treatments. We've got sort of an edge lane road yeah. happening here. The, the cars, as you can tell, are able to go in both directions and they have to, uh, you know, be able to get into the shoulder, which they're able to do via the dashed lines here. It's not the ideal type of infrastructure to ride on. It's not that comfortable. No. But if the motor vehicle volumes are low and the speeds are low, it is something that we see routinely in, especially in rural contexts mm -hmm. yeah. and, and in industrial contexts yeah. too, yeah. So we're gonna see one later that's more of an, an urban context. And I'm uh, sure we'll yes. talk about yes. that, yeah. Yeah, we'll go there later. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fantastic. So have you seen the, the new Western City Boulevard? I think two years ago when we mm -hmm. met, we've just seen a little bit of it. Okay. And it was still under construction. Yeah, yeah. And now it's uh, almost complete. Oh, fantastic. So let's, let's go there. All right. And as you can see, we're starting to outnumber the cars here in this environment. And then that's when this starts to feel a little bit more comfortable yeah. when the number of people riding. But that's only so. because it's a Saturday. And it's a Saturday, yeah. yeah, yeah. We've got some runners. Yeah, and it's, it's worth noting too that, yeah, if you're a runner or a pedestrian in this environment, you're sharing the space too. Yeah. Because there's no sidewalks here. So no separated pathways for pedestrians. So, and it's also yeah. it's a big industrial area here. Yeah. And we see our, our friend, the double hauled boat coming through in the canal. And this is a major working canal. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So you'll see lots and lots of the barge traffic coming through here reinforcing the fact that there is still a lot of industrial activity in this entire area. Although this guy is not looking like he's stopping anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs> so the Western Boulevard that you were just referencing, yeah. um, is that the new community that we were looking at um, two years ago? No, that's on the okay. other side of the... Uh, on canal, the canal. Right terrain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We visited the new city center there. Okay, good. Uh, the Western City Boulevard. Yeah. It's sort of a ring road on the western side of uh, Utrecht. Okay. Uh, just through the neighborhoods. Okay. Which is being uh, redeveloped completely over a couple of years. Okay. Uh, with, um, well, basically uh, just a road diet. Right. Uh, less space for cars. Yeah. More greenery. Uh, wider, separated bike lanes. So yeah, yeah. We'll see in a moment. Yeah. How that works out. Okay. Very good. And then we also let's make sure that we also pay a visit to uh, that brand new development that's under construction now uh, that you pointed out two years ago, right along the canal. Yeah. Uh, that is billed as being car free. Yes. 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 Because I'm sure That's there's... the largest uh, inner city development in the Netherlands right now. Wow, wow. Do you recall how many units, how many people that uh, will house? Well, 
there are several parts, but yeah. um, part that's going to be car free or almost car free. It's got a parking norm of 0 0.2 or 3. That's close enough. That's close yeah. to, to yeah. zero. Yeah. Uh, it has, I believe, well, not yet, but 6,000 homes. Yeah. For like 12 to 15,000 people. Fantastic. Yeah. So yeah. That's, that's big. Yeah, that's big. And there you can see the Daphne Schippersbrug, the yeah. cycling bridge over the school. Yeah, that's right. A very important bridge. Yeah, for an iconic bridge. Iconic bridge. They needed to put a bridge in, and they found an opportunity for the footer, the ramp on the other side, to be integrated with the school. Yeah, there was an old yes. school was actually blocking space for the bridge. Right. So they had a whole group of people with different backgrounds. Yeah. How we can do it. And yeah. well, well, then they just thought out of the box, if we just put a new school in there and put a ramp on top of the school. Yeah. And if we look across the way here, we see some yoga being practiced. Yeah, there's a little uh, city no. beach. Nice. Uh, That's beach nice. Beach house, it's a nice place. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's good to see. And as you mentioned, it's a Saturday morning and so some of the residents are getting their yoga yeah. in. <laughs> Very nice. Um, let's go left here. Okay. And we're close at the beginning. And again, we're kind of in a nice little industrial area, but you see, still see families riding to their meaningful destinations. And this is All a the more reason, yeah. coffee factory. So oh, okay. if they are, um, Processing the coffee beans ah. and the wind is at the right direction. You can yeah. smell the coffee. I remember Some that. Some people hate it. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. I remember the smell of the coffee yeah. on the bridge the last time yeah. we rode. Not sure if it was that coffee place, but uh, it yes. Probably is. It yeah, probably is. It probably is. Just one here. Yeah. Very nice. So we're looking at a, a major site for redevelopment here on the left. All okay. these homes are going to be uh, demolished and replaced for new homes, park. Okay. Uh, so if you're back in a couple of years, this will look quite different. Yeah. I think that's a really good point too, is that we oftentimes uh, see Europe and see the Netherlands as place, a place that doesn't change very much, but there is a lot of that. There yeah, is a lot it actually of... actually does change a lot. Yes, there's a lot of fine-tuning of things, not only the cycle paths, mm -hmm. but the need for more housing and updated housing. And as we were just talking about, a brand new community being developed. And since that community is so close to uh, the city center, all the more reason for it to be, you know, a car light mm -hmm. community, yeah. a car free community. Well, the place you're staying now is mm -hmm. also Pretty recently developed. It's yes. also uh, more of an industrial area. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, you're staying there, so you, you've seen how it is now. And yes. in walking distance from the city, Yeah. it's a nice, quiet uh, place. What I love about it, too, is um, the, the parking requirements for bikes. And so each of the units mm -hmm. has its own cycle storage yeah. unit. And so you're able to have your your bikes maybe even a family bike mm -hmm. a cargo bike yeah. uh, that is able to be securely off locked street parking, yeah, yeah off street parking which you know is important yeah because there's not that much yeah, space that, not everybody can have a spot uh, that's secure yeah no and parking bike parking is a is a problem in yeah the yeah 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 so if there are new developments with yeah. uh, indoor bike parking that's that's great yeah yeah in general, when we talk about the urbanism policies that we like to see, we don't like seeing minimum requirements for car parking, uh, but we do like seeing yeah. minimum requirements for bike parking yes. uh, because it's so much more space efficient mm -hmm. and it helps decouple that sense yeah. that, you know, encouraging people to drive because there's free parking on either side. So, it may seem unfair to some people, but... Yeah, well, it's, it's the, always the, unfair the city. to some, yes. uh, whatever you do. Yeah. Well, I think it's, it, 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 it's probably not appropriate to do it, uh, see it as fair or unfair, but 
trying to do something that's better yeah, for, for the overall yeah. community and you know creating cities for people so so this is yeah. uh, let's start here you see a pretty new white bike path mm -hmm. still two car lanes here right but there's going to be one later on yeah they built greenery uh, in the middle of the road You can see the crossing right here. Nicely done. Integrated both pedestrian and With bike crossing. Space to, to wait between the car lanes. Yeah. And again, this is, you know, reinforcing that all of Utrecht, all of the Netherlands isn't anti-car. There's plenty of cars. There are plenty of cars. There's yeah. plenty of cars. Still probably too many. But And here on the yeah. right, there's another new development mm -hmm. uh, also a lot of new homes being built here mm -hmm. still on the construction as you can see yeah and here there's only one lane left right with a wide medium yes. a wide medium which, which is built to catch uh, water yeah the rain water too much see the cut right there in the curb so that becomes a rain garden. Yes. It's able to absorb the rain. So it helps with storm water runoff. We see some nice flowers and wildflowers all around the area. Although a little bit too much grass for my liking right here, but that's okay. Yeah. That's all right. <laughs> so you have seen the city grow up because mm -hmm. you grew up here. Yeah, I grew up in the city. Yeah. yeah, so this is your city. This is my city. Yeah, yes. yeah. Yeah. What's it been like to see it grow? Were you always, you know, a, a, a cheerleader for more density, more people riding bikes? Or is that something new for you? Uh, that's something after the last, say, 10, 15 years, I think. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I've always cycled a, a lot because yeah. well, we, we were living in, in town and uh, my sports was like a half an hour, but that was no problem. Yeah. So that's normal for me. Yeah. And since working here and having kids, it, it's, yeah, yeah. It, it grew bigger. Yeah. The need for more safe cycling infrastructure. Yeah. Dense, livable communities. Yeah. Uh, here you can see this was two lanes mm -hmm. each way, no greenery, uh, and now it looks like this. Yep. I think it's a major improvement. It is a major improvement. And it is wonderful to see one's city continuing mm -hmm. to get yeah. better and feel more comfortable for more people. Yeah. And. We've talked a lot about housing already and we'll continue to talk a lot about housing because there's a shortage yeah, there's a of big housing shortage. and that causes prices to go up. Yeah. So that's one of the main strategies is trying to create more housing near meaningful destinations mm -hmm. and being able to connect the housing to those meaningful destinations, places of work, places to dine, places to shop, places to go yeah. to school, with cycling and walking and transit infrastructure. Yeah. Which means building smaller houses. Yeah. Less family homes, more apartments, higher density. Yeah. So this is a whole new um, uh, square here. Yeah, yeah. Let's pull off and, and film yeah. this a little bit. We'll talk a lot of, little about this. This is a, a fairly infamous uh, little uh, bit of infrastructure. Two years ago, we were here. Uh, viewers may remember this uh, with the, uh, the ride along with Leonard Nout mm -hmm. with yeah. Mobicon. Yeah. We were here and it had just opened yeah. at that point. It still had construction equipment here. And uh, yes, this is car infrastructure. It's, you know, it's meant to try to move the cars through, but it's also meant to slow the cars down yeah. 
and we see that we have some really nice bicycle infrastructure that's able to get it through here, but we also see that the bicycle is not necessarily prioritized in no. this environment. No. If you cross, you don't have priority. Yeah. If you just follow the road, you have priority. Got it. So it's not a roundabout where you have a priority all the way as a cyclist. Right. Yeah. It's a little bit of a different square, but people are more used to it now, and I think it, it yeah. works better. Yeah. Yeah, it was interesting seeing it on those first few days. Yeah. Because it was clear that people weren't quite used to it yet. No, they, yeah. they remove traffic lights, so mm -hmm. uh, people have to, have to find their way mm -hmm. how to deal with this uh, concept. Yeah, yeah. And there are still there are still some lights, as you can see there, mm -hmm. and behind the tree there. Mm -hmm. And that's just a, a small light which only turns red mm -hmm. when the square is, is, is too busy. Ah, okay. So it turns red, cars stop, uh, people here can flow, clear the... Uh, uh, a square yeah. and then it goes uh, off again. Yeah. So. yeah. so talk a little bit about your personal transformation because you just became inspired to start talking about this stuff and mm -hmm. filming this stuff and writing about this stuff. And, but again, this isn't your profession. No, this, this isn't, is not you, my you profession. know, you're, uh, you're more in the housing world. Uh, yeah. uh, so you became almost like a subject matter expert yeah. of traffic. Yeah. Yeah. That's quite an interesting uh, thing to get fascinated by, and it's, it's, it's quite a, an interesting experience. Talk a little bit about that, that process and, and, and learning a whole new industry. Yeah, well, it's, it's part of growing up here. When I was young, I remember I could play on the streets. Yeah. Uh, there were cars on the streets, yeah. but not, as ma not that many, not that big. Yeah. So we can play ball on the street and, and cycle on the street. I learned how to cycle just on the, on the street, not on a separated bike path. Yeah. And that's changed a lot. And yeah. I've, se I've seen that change, but I didn't bother for a long time. Uh, I was going to school, I was studying. My first job was in Rotterdam. Yeah. Uh, so I just went to the station, took the train to Rotterdam and came back at the end of the day and then I worked in Amsterdam for two years, same, same story. Same story, yeah. But then I became, uh, I got a job here in Utrecht. Yeah. So I was on my bike all day. Yeah. And I began noticing things, seeing things. Yeah. Uh, my kids grew up, I yeah. have three kids, so we are cycling a lot with them. And yeah. then you're also noticing things, like, hey, yeah. this isn't the safe path to cycle with them, let's go another way. or. How can they improve this to make it safe for, for people and, and kids? So, yeah. Yeah. That's so instead of just complaining, you decided to start advocating. Yeah, that's also a little coincidence. I, yeah. I bought a, 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 a GoPro camera a couple of years ago for mm -hmm. holiday. I was going mm -hmm. on mountain tours with a friend yeah. and I thought, well, maybe I should film something so I can yeah. show my kids yeah. and my yeah. wife what I'm doing yeah. when I'm gone. Yeah, yeah. And then I had the camera and I thought, well, I can leave it in the store for a year till yeah. I go back again to the mountains or I can click it on my bike. Yeah. And, and I, at that time I had seen some channels already, right. uh, like uh, Bicycle Dutch. Yeah. Uh, so I thought, Our good well, friend Mark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mark. And yeah. I thought, well, yeah. let's give it a try. Yeah, why and not? And then it started rolling. It's so interesting too, uh, this is a reoccurring story that we hear about parents sort of getting inspired, whether it's you know, Tom Flood, who we know, mm -hmm. you know, he says that I was radicalized because I wanted to do something you know, extreme. I wanted to be able to walk or bike with my kids to school. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, and yeah. I, I didn't have to radicalize that much because yeah. The basic in Utrecht is already pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah, yeah. But there's always room for improvement. Yeah. Yeah. There's always room for improvement, and as you know, because we're we're producing content that is inspiring people around the globe, many people look to what you have here mm -hmm. and get inspired by yeah. it. So yeah. So thank you for doing what you're doing with that. That's it's yeah, very inspirational. It's nice to do. It. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Let's keep riding. Yeah. Let's do yeah. This is good. I'm glad we got to see this again two years later. This yeah. is much greener and uh, much greener. Well, yeah. again, it's yeah. a Saturday. Yeah. I cycle here 
almost every Tuesday mm -hmm. from my work to uh, get one of my kids at his uh, drawing lessons on the other side of town. Yeah. Around 3.30, 4, 4.30, mm -hmm. and it's, it's packed with cars. Yeah, it's packed with yeah. cars, yeah. It is a major thoroughfare through here. Yeah. It's nice that they have narrowed down the lanes down in that direction that mm -hmm. we're pointing the camera right now um, because it has sort of calmed the traffic yeah. down a little. But still an awful lot of still cars. Still an awful lot of traffic. Sorry. And I don't yeah. have the latest figures, but I understand it's all already gone down. Okay, good. So it's still good. busy, but it's yeah, gone down. It's gone and down. people yeah. just found uh, another route sure, uh, sure. outside the city, sure. which is good, or just uh, took their bike or... Uh, yeah, well, that's uh, kind of the whole point. Yeah. If, if we add a little friction to driving, yeah. That's no, that works. Yeah. It's like, look at this beautiful cycle path right here. Maybe I can just ride this. Yeah. Maybe so, not every day, but yeah. if it's nice weather yeah, like today. It works. Yeah. You, you're stuck in your car yeah. here and you see people yeah. riding past yeah. you on their bikes, smiling. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, and what a you beautiful start thinking. Yeah. And what a beautiful environment. Look at yeah. this. This is beautiful. And this is all brand new, so this yeah. This is all brand new, yeah. yeah. Of course, it yeah. was here already, but it's widened and yeah. more greenery. And that's a, that's a good point about cycling infrastructure in Utrecht and, and more in general too, but here in Utrecht, there's always lots of greenery around it. Yeah. So yeah. it's always a nice environment. And that kind of goes back to the whole point of making the environment comfortable mm -hmm. for all ages and yeah. abilities. And the greener we can make it, the softer we can make it, uh, yeah. the wildflowers, the, the color, these are the types of things that make it more attractive yeah. for more and people to do. And it's also good for biodiversity, for, yes. for nature. Yeah. So yeah. it makes it, it cooler. Yes, cycling cooler, under thank the trees. you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you Especially for saying that. Especially on a day like this. Like or this, the week the, like this. The week <laughs> like this with 30 plus degrees. Yeah, yeah. It makes it a lot of, lots cooler. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. And, and again, all ages and abilities, yeah. facilities, we see that people who are in mobility devices have the ability to use this facility as well. Um, and you'll see that routinely. I mean, yes, there's a pedestrian walkway right there. Which is yes. too small. It's too small yeah. and it's too rough for, yeah. for that mobility device. Mm -hmm. So the cycling infrastructure is in fact intended to be also mobility yeah. uh, device infrastructure yeah. for wheelchairs and other devices. Yeah. 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 Okay, let's roll. Yeah. Of course, I was here in the fall mm -hmm. in 2022, so th it, nowhere near as colorful and green, you know, by the time I was here in November. So, yeah, so much nicer seeing it yeah. in its full capacity. We also see sports and recreation fields right on the other side mm -hmm. here. And so we see that we're able to get to, again, the whole point, get to meaningful destinations. Uh, including schools and recreational facilities. We've got some housing down here as well in very short period of time. Ah, yes, and the orange flags. Yeah, they're still for the, hanging. The oh. football match from a couple Let's days see ago. see how long it, yeah, it, it's yeah. still lost. Yeah, yeah. We didn't have big celebrations, did we? No, <laughs> last week we didn't. <laughs> yeah. That was a rough, rough match. Yeah. And again, another installation here. That's also, uh, let's say, five to two, 10 years uh, old. So yeah. pretty new development. Yeah. Very nice. And this replaced uh, old housing. Okay. Yeah, this all about five to 10 years old, replacing older housing. And you see it's kind of a gentle density. They're not high, high rises. You know, no. they fit right into the character of the neighborhood here. Very nice. And again, there's that connection to the neighborhood, the connection to the parks. And again, as we just passed the older gentleman there, uh, that's again a part of the point. It's all ages and yeah. abilities. Yeah. And this is the river uh, where your apartment's at. Yeah, yeah. Along the, this river. Yeah, very good. One of the, uh, the designs that I enjoy seeing 
We're not seeing it here with this filling station when the cycle path goes around the, the backside uh -huh. of the, the gas station so that uh, we are not having to cross no. over the driveways as the car's yeah. coming in. That's I, I prefer better. that, yeah. yeah, yeah. I prefer that and, and there's like a, a smug sense of satisfaction where yeah. you're like, see? <laughs> Flow right around and yeah. don't have to pause, don't have to stop. <laughs> also new development on the other side. Uh -huh. There was an old hospital there. Okay. Which has been demolished uh, like 10 years ago. Nice. We're all new housing now. So how long are you staying uh, this time? Uh, I leave Europe on August 8th. Okay, oh wow. Yes. Uh, almost two months? Almost two months. Yeah. Uh, actually, yeah, exactly two yeah, months. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, exactly two months. Now, I'm not in the Netherlands that whole time. Uh -huh. I'm all over the place. Uh, I fly home from Copenhagen. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, and I'll be up in Oslo, Norway, uh -huh. Stockholm, Sweden. So. All nice places. I'll be down in uh, the Black Forest of Germany. Mm. Maybe, maybe Munich. So, I'm waiting to hear back from city staff there in Munich. They want to take me out and show me their uh, their bicycle infrastructure. Okay, yeah. They have to check with uh, the communications department to mm -hmm. make sure it's okay for me to interview them. <laughs> Let's go left here. As you can see, our road has expanded back to two lanes in both directions. It was nice in the other section that it was narrowed down to just one lane in each direction. Yeah. Um, and we were talking about how the fact that during the week, it can be quite crowded with cars. And I think that brings up a really good point that if we feed a section of roadway you know, with four lanes, two lanes in each direction, and then we narrow it down, but then we just expand it back out again. Yeah. We're not doing enough to incentivize people not to drive. We're still, all we're doing is pinching them down in one particular area. It would be far more effective to take that whole stretch and do that conversion and narrow things up. Uh, you'll probably know the cartoon yeah. about uh, with the car lanes, if this your problem, yeah. then yeah. adding lanes is not the solution. Yeah, yeah adding lanes is not the solution, yeah. So describe where we're, we're riding through now. Uh, this is uh, Overvecht, mm -hmm. uh, one of the bigger neighborhoods in, uh, in Utrecht, mm -hmm. also one with um, with quite a lot of problems on livability. Okay. Uh, lots of social housing here. Okay. Uh, high rise, uh, as you could see back there, mm -hmm. uh, and, and over there, uh, with uh, low income housing. So mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a challenging neighborhood here. Okay. But as you can see, it's all, also a very green neighborhood. Yeah, very beautiful. Uh, is, this is a beautiful street here. Yeah. And there's a, Little corner there in the car lane, uh -huh. which was quite new a couple of years ago to slow traffic down. Yeah. So this was, I don't know if it was, if it was two way, but uh, two lanes, but yeah. just a straight road. Very, so, very beautiful sort of parkway feel through yeah. here. We see that it is a 30 kilometer per hour zone here. We've got the roundabout coming up. Yeah, and beautiful green space here. It's like a big park. So, so yeah. Let's go to the right here. Okay. And we got some construction. Looks like they're redoing that road there or pathway. No mm -hmm. cycling infrastructure here on this road. Yeah. It looks like they're doing something with all this construction yeah, I here. Think this so, is the gonna get redone. And, and oh, yeah. Things on the ground. Yeah. 
Now, typically when the city does pipe work like that, are they, will they also, when they're done, start thinking about, okay, what are we doing for bicycle infrastructure through here? Well, they, they try to, uh, as they call it, make work with work. Okay. So, but let's talk about it later. Oh, yeah, so, I'm yeah. sorry, John, we yeah, have to yeah. go left here, because yeah. there's a very interesting thing here. Yeah, yeah. You know about the uh, Fietsmaatjes program? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The bicycle bodies. And yeah, you yeah. Said perhaps you can do something about it. Yeah, yeah. Let's stop here. Yeah. And bicycle bodies project we started here in Utrecht uh, is meant for people, uh, older people, but also younger people who uh, don't dare, dare to cycle right. anymore or don't want to cycle alone because. Yeah. Of they're old or they have physical problems or something like right, that. Right. And um, there is a, is a program called Fietsmaatjes, Bicycle Buddies, right. that started 10 to 15 years ago somewhere in the Netherlands. Um, and they use uh, duo fietsen, so that's a bike, duo bikes, where you can sit next to each other. Right, yeah. And you have uh, uh, the volunteer, at Maatje, mm -hmm. sitting behind uh, the steering uh, and um, the guest. Mm -hmm sitting next to right, the right. volunteer yeah. and they can go cycling together. Yeah, yeah, and I know that uh, there's a few different bicycle manufacturers. One of them that I remember is Van Ram. Van Ram, yeah. Yeah, we have a Van Ram fiets. Yeah. And uh, so, yeah, yeah um, this is our first location. Yeah, so fantastic. Let's... What a beautiful day. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad it's not like Wednesday or Tuesday. Yeah. It was a little too much. That was too hot. So I think we can, uh, I can show you a, a nice example of some traffic slowdown in a street further on, uh, further along in Overvecht and Perhaps then we go to the um, uh, new mural. Oh, that's right, the, yeah. Uh, the yeah. cycling mural. Yeah. And yeah. perhaps uh, after that we can go for a lunch tumbler. Okay, fantastic. So. Yeah, we're, uh, we're cycling up an appetite. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually from my company. Ah, fabulous. So we're renovating this uh, apartment building. Fantastic. Very good. And for the, uh, the audience who has not seen our first video from last year, I want you to talk a little bit about uh, the type of work that you do. Yeah, well, I work at the Social Housing Corporation here in Utrecht. Mm -hmm. It's housing for low-income uh, households. And I'm a policymaker uh, at the company. And what you just saw was a big apartment building which was uh, outdated. Uh, we had many complaints from tenants about all sorts of uh, problems. And uh, well, it's almost done now. It's got a nice big renovation. Yeah. Yeah, what do you want to know? No, about that's good, yeah. And one of the things that we know is that a big part of creating uh, affordable housing is also making sure that you can keep transportation costs down. Yeah. The best way of doing that is making sure that the housing is in a convenient location to yeah. walking and biking and transit infrastructure. Mm -hmm. That way they, they're not spending extra money to be able to get around. Yeah, uh, especially because we're housing mostly low income people. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's nice if they can walk or, or, or cycle just yeah. here around the corner, there's a shopping center. So right. it's a five minute walk uh, to the shopping, yeah. to the shopping center. Yeah. So that's, that's, and that's nice. Ability. And there are schools yeah. here. And yeah. The ability to ride a bike to get to school, the ability to mm -hmm. ride a bike to, yeah. you know, maybe job training and getting a new job. Yeah. yeah. And not everybody can ride a bike, but there are uh, bike lessons for mm -hmm. people who can't and there are all sort of programs so if you've seen the bike flip program for uh, people who don't want or can buy a new bike anytime their kids are growing so yeah oh and here's the shopping center yeah right there's the shopping center 
not big, but it has all the things you yeah. need on a daily basis. Right, yeah. We've just transitioned away from the busy street and now we're cycling through a green space, an open space, a park. Yeah, yeah again, I yeah. told you before, this Overweg neighborhood is a yeah. very green neighborhood. Yeah. Lots of greeny parks and you can see here, uh, if you turn your camera to the left, mm -hmm. there's a big, big park. Yeah, uh, yeah that, that's great here. And it's cool here under the trees. You notice yes. it directly. Yes, yeah, immediately, yes. Okay. The, uh, the impact of shade and the green space is immediate because yeah. you get away from that heat island effect mm -hmm. that the black asphalt has. Yeah. So when you're in the car dominated realm, you just you feel that heat yeah. radiating off. And not every neighborhood in Utrecht is as green as this one is. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, the heat is a problem. It's yeah. a bigger problem. Yeah. With climate change. And yes, with climate words, change. Uh, yeah. Oh, look at this very old structure here too. Yeah, it's an old water tower. Yeah. So I think there are plans to um, redesign it and mm -hmm. put housing or perhaps a restaurant in it. Okay. Go to the right here. Beautiful old structure. So there's some work to do here. You see mm -hmm. there's no cycling infrastructure, not even yeah. a, a lane. Yeah, nothing here. Uh, Which is very rare, very uncommon yeah. for here. Yeah. But this neighborhood is built in the, in the age of cars. So right. back in the 60s, yeah. it was all built wide. Yeah. Lots of space for cars, uh, lots of green also, of course, but they're changing it now. When, what we see here, we cross mm -hmm. this, the Moldau Drive. They've redesigned it uh, last year or the mm -hmm. year before. Mm -hmm. And it now has a nice separated bike path on both ways. Mm -hmm. um, so they're working on it. Yeah, and yeah. obviously they can do all things together. Right. And this is a, a nice short street. I think it was a sort of a contest for inhabitants mm -hmm. to make the street safer. And yeah. you can see what they did. Yeah. They built in the chica uh, chicanas. Yeah. yeah. The you got the, the chicanes, the chicanes here. Um, yeah. And you can see how that's done. Well, I don't know if it works because uh -huh. I can imagine as a driver, it's fun. <laughs> to, to, to feel like Max Verstappen here. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know. I think it probably does work because, yeah. because you know, just from the visual of uh, when you're a driver, when you can't see a straight through, mm -hmm. um, you, you do naturally slow yeah. down. Obviously, some people will think they're a race car driver yeah. and, and do it. But for the majority of the people, like we were talking about earlier, if you change the design, you can start to change the behavior. So that's a big part of it, mm -hmm. is starting to change that design. And on this street, the uh, design has not changed yet. Yeah. Yeah. You can see. Yeah. There's some, some paint here, but it's almost faded. You can't see it anymore. Yeah. It, it stops here, so. Well, as we said in the past, paint is not protection. No, paint is not protection. <laughs> and there's a little speed bump there, but yeah, this street is designed to, to go 50 or 60. Yeah. Another green space, nice little park here. All the more reason for this to be a slow zone. We got 30 kilometer slow zone on the side streets but yes, need to work on this street. Oh, and there you can see, yeah. we're going to the, the right, but mm -hmm. the sign to the left is for the Verkeersexamen, mm -hmm. which we talked about two years ago. That's right, yeah. For school ch yeah. children. Yeah, that's where they take so their So every neighborhood exams. has its own route. Yeah, yeah. And they follow the, the signs. Yep. And that's typically about 11 years old, 12 years old? Yeah, 11, 12 years old. Okay. In the uh, seventh grade, they have their 
theoretical exam. Yeah. And then in the eighth grade of the uh, primary school, mm -hmm. they have their uh, practical exam. Yeah, out on the streets, yeah. Well, and certainly for those kids who live in this neighborhood, this is nowhere near as inviting no. as many other neighborhoods. All the more important for them to have to, to learn. good skills yeah. for handling. But that's not an excuse. The city needs to the, the get the infrastructure yeah. you know, improved This here. infrastructure needs to, to get done. Yeah. yeah, yeah. City, you're not off the hook. <laughs> oh, look at the yeah, mural. Yeah, it's a nice mural here. Oh, look at that. Right on the corner mm -hmm. of the building. Very nice. And we're gonna go see some more murals in a second. Yes. And here we are on the, on the edge. Yes. There you can see the outer ring road, which is leading to the highway yeah. on the right side. Yeah. So, but the, nice. the outer ring road has a nice separated bike path mm -hmm. uh, along. So right. It's not only for cars, not but only this for is cars. mainly mainly cars corridor. Right, right. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, and we saw some young kids, you know, riding mm -hmm. down there. Again, this is a safe bit of infrastructure. So even though you're next to the automobile area, it's safe to it's ride. It's safe in. to ride. Yeah. There's a, there's a green medium between yeah. and it's, it's safe. Yeah. 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 Fantastic. And you can also see how the integration with the transit stop works. You see the, the bus lane there. Got the transit stop. Ah, you got a little bit of greenery on yeah, top of the uh, transit stop there. All bus stops nice. have uh, greenery on top of it. Ah, fabulous, fabulous. Little, little measures that add up to make a difference. Trying to make our cities a little bit more livable. And we see a little tiny bridge here connecting the pathway there to the main cycle route. And so for those people living and working down that yep. way, they can connect. Rollerblader, nice dated rollerblade. It sure is, yeah. yeah. Crossing the train tracks here. Yeah. And when I was a little kid, mm -hmm. this was the playground I went to with my parents. Ah, fabulous. But that's like uh, yeah. almost 40 years ago. <laughs> Bring back memories. Yeah. yeah. This is a secondary school mm -hmm. and uh, bike parking ah. is all the way behind this facade. Right. It's a great bike, uh, big bike parking. Yeah. I rolled past here a few days ago and uh -huh. saw lots of the students yeah. going into there. Yeah. That was part of my ride coming back from Zeist. Ah. Yeah. yeah. And again, here's an example of what we were talking about earlier with the, the fuel stop, the filling station. Yes, and there you can and see the bike path yeah. on uh, the, running uh, yeah. behind it. On the other side, behind it, yeah. decreasing the amount of conflict points. Yeah. Incredibly important. I mean, it's, it's really not rocket science. It's not hard, but it does it's, take some thought. Yeah, but it's pretty easy. street planners. Yeah, it's pretty if easy. If, if there's space, yep. it's, it's a no-brainer, actually. But there's always space. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a matter of political will and decisions. Yeah. <laughs> That's the lesson. If there's space for cars, there's more space for people. More wildflowers in the center area there. There's another big mural. Yeah, here's another big mural. Somewhat more abstract than the one we saw just a minute ago. Yeah. Are murals uh, a newer thing for the city or does the city have a le long legacy of murals? Um, the first murals in Utrecht were Pretty long ago, but uh, mm -hmm. it's a uh, recent years. It exploded. Yeah, yeah. Uh, really it seems like that's the been number globally. of murals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think globally the number of murals are starting to explode. You know, you're trying to liven up and put color yeah. into a drab environment. 
Yeah. Because if it's already a beautiful, colorful environment, yeah. you may not need a no, mural. No, you may not need it. But it's yeah. not only uh, graphic designs. Yeah, yeah. As you can see here, yeah. there's a, a, a poet. Yeah, yeah. So, Very so nice. It's, uh, Depends on the on the building it's on or the location. Yeah. Um, most murals are, are um, made uh, after asking the residents what they want. Right. Uh, looking to the history of the area, the building, yeah. uh, and then the mural is made. Yeah. Such a good point of engaging with. The mm -hmm. local population, yeah. the local community. Very important. And again, look how yeah. nice the median is. Yeah. All the flowers. Really extraordinary to see the difference, even from a few years ago, when mostly you just see the grass, like over here, mm -hmm. the turf, and they'll come through and mow it. So having encouraging the wildflowers, I think, is so important. Get those pollinators. Yeah going we have such a a devastating lack of pollinators they're starting to go extinct yeah so, that's a big problem so yeah these are great yeah these are fantastic i know some people criticize and say oh it looks too messy and it's like well life is messy yeah. sometimes <laughs> we need the insects and the butterflies and the bees they need their flowers Bring back the flowers. A little waterway here. Another filling station. Yeah, behind here is the neighborhood I grew, grew up in. Yeah, so, yeah. Right? The, the playground, the, the waterway here. Mm -hmm. This is your old stomping grounds. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Places where you're from. Turning to the left here. Yes, and then to the right. And again, you feel it immediately, just how much more comfortable this is when we have our own space. We're not feeling like we're invading nope. on the space where the drivers are. And it's wide yes. enough to cycle uh, two abreast. Yeah. Uh, have a talk with each other. Yeah, which is uh, important. I mean, yeah. being able to have a conversation with your friend or loved one or New friend, <laughs> fellow content creator. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's a social activity. Yeah, riding a bike is a social activity. Uh, let's see, we go left uh, over that. All right. We're going to follow this pack. And we'll still get our green light. Now this environment, we, we are sort of in a shared road here, but mm -hmm. still feels very, very comfortable. Yeah. It's not a true tree. road. Yeah, so it's not so a through road. It's, it's only local traffic. Yeah. We also have a tree canopy. And again, getting back to the, that feeling of heat, yeah. it, it felt immediately more inviting just because it was cool. Yeah, you it's You didn't more feel the stress, yeah. Even though structurally it may not have been that much different than the other street, it just felt better just because it was so shaded and the, I like to call it the, the embrace <laughs> of yeah. the trees. They feel yeah. like you're, the trees are giving you a hug. Well, turning left here. Let's see where it's, it's going. going. Yeah, you, you can feel the heat immediately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. turn the corner, boom. More street trees, please. <laughs> we need more street trees. How many more? More. Much more. Much yeah. more. So we're going to the right and then we're approaching the new mu mural. All right. 
Yes, we are in search of more murals. De Fuminde, de Fietzer posted some murals yesterday and I said, we need to see them today. And this one is brand new. It's only revealed yesterday. The, the mural, yeah. fantastic, yeah. I also want to point out too, you know, we're in a much more We're on affluent, a cycling street now. Yeah, we're in a cycling street. We're in a much more, it feels like a much more affluent neighborhood yeah. here. Yeah, you see the difference. You feel the yeah, difference. You feel the difference. The family homes yeah. instead of uh, the high rise buildings, apartment yep. buildings. Yeah. Yep. And then the quality of the infrastructure. We see the feet mm -hmm. spot here that we're yep. on the bicycle priority street. So we need to get the municipality to upgrade the roads in all neighborhoods so that it's not just for the rich people, so to speak. Yeah. Yeah. And there you see the mural. Yay, the here it is. The building. Here it is. Yeah. Brand new reveal, the new mural. And it's a bicycle theme mural here. And if you see the relevance of this mural, you'll see that we've got the, the train tracks there, sort of mirroring. We've got the train tracks right over here too. Very nice. So, and you see um, down there, there's, there's a school, Nimeto, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. which is a, yeah, a, a practical, uh, very practical school. Mm -hmm. So students of that school, um, I don't know the whole process, but they made this mural together with uh, one of uh, Utrecht's uh, well, most famous uh, mural artists, the Verf right. Doctor. Right, right. So they work together. And you, yeah, what, what I told you, see the, it's a very local uh, yeah. mural. There's a, a bike lane here. Yeah. You see the train tracks there. Yeah. It's made with students who are here. Yeah. on school on the other side of the street. So yeah. it's, I love it. Yeah, yeah. because uh, the cycling and the, the, the bike with the two dogs yeah. and then one with a, a crate full of beer yeah. on his bike. It's so Dutch, yeah. yeah. Yeah, if we swing around, we see there's the one with the dogs and you can see the shadow of the dogs right there too. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> Thank you very much for showing me the mural. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. Yeah, and others are taking it in as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Enjoying it. I was here yesterday and we're yeah. more, more people yeah. coming to see it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, coming to see it. The information, here we go. So Verf Doctor is the artist, mm -hmm. and Nimeto is the school. Yep. And then there's Ondernemingsfonds Utrecht and mm -hmm. the Buurtvereniging, which probably both funded yeah. uh, the, the project and, and uh, came up with the ideas for it. So yeah. it's a nice cooperation. Yeah. Together we can create beautiful things. All right, folks, that concludes part one of my explorations of Utrecht with the one and only Hertz, Filminde Fietzer. Uh, thanks so much again for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, and if you did, please, hey, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below and share it with a friend. And if you haven't done so already, be honored to have you subscribe to the channel. Just click on that subscription button below and ring that notifications bell. Hey, next time when we come back, uh, we are gonna be exploring some new developments and making our way back into the city center and the neighborhood where I am staying, uh, the apartment I'm staying at, uh, courtesy of a wonderful Active Towns ambassador, Kathy Tuttle. And I almost forgot, be sure to follow along with Phil Mende Fietzer on his social media platforms. Well, until next time, this is John signing off by wishing you much activity, health, and happiness. Cheers. And again, sending a huge thank you out to all my Active Towns ambassadors supporting the channel on Patreon, Buy Me A Coffee, YouTube Super Thanks, as well as making contributions to the nonprofit and purchasing things from the Active Towns store. Every little bit adds up and it's much appreciated. Thank you all so much.